Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the one thing you need to be doing to get your dog to listen to you. And here we go. We're going to get right into it. If you're not familiar with me or my channel, my name is Jessica. I'm the furry family coach. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button when you do the bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the one thing that you need to be doing to get your dog to listen to you. And I'm actually going to be demoing this here with Kim. I want to tell you a story. If you are feeling a little hopeless about your dog right now, I really want you to pay attention to this story. Honestly, it was a bit heart-wrenching for me. It really tugged at my heart. But really quick, before I get into that story, stick around. I am going to get to it real quick. But before we do that, I want to get into the one thing that you're missing in this video right now. So here's the deal, guys. A lot of times your dog is not listening to you because they don't have a reason to. You have not given them a reason to. The number one thing that you need to be doing, I'm going to start demoing this with Kim because she has been waiting very, very patiently for these treats for quite a while. Good job, good job. Yes, good girl. So you see what I just did there? She was eating her treat and as soon as she turned back around, yes, good job, and looked at me again, I gave her another treat. Because here's what we're doing, guys. We are becoming the most interesting good girl. So we want to be the most interesting thing in our dog's lives. And how do we do that? We do that by letting your dog know that, yes, good girl, that they need to be looking back at us. They need to be looking to us for cues. They need to be like, yes, good girl. They need to be, I threw it that way. I'm going that way. Good girl. They need to be looking to us for cues. They need to be looking to us for what to do, but also that we need to make things fun. So you can take the regular food. You can take treats like I have here. If you're at all curious about how to use treats to train and not overfeed your dog, I have another video about that on my channel. I will link it in the description below. Yes, good girl. So this is one of the activities that I want you to be doing with your dog because here's what we're doing. We're introducing fun and we are good girl. We're, we're getting our dog to look at us. I'm training her to say, as soon as she looks at me, something good happens. Yes, good girl. And take your treats, take your food, and toss them in all different directions. Another thing about dogs, yes, good girl. Another thing about dogs that uh, a lot of people forget or don't know to begin with is that they are very, very situational. Yes, good girl. What does that mean? That means that just because you do something, you, you do X, like we're doing this activity right here in the living room, yes, good girl, doesn't mean that that translates for them into every other room of your house. It doesn't mean that that translates for them when they walk outside into the backyard, yes, good girl. It doesn't mean that, that it translates for them when you go to the park. So you need to be practicing this in every room of your house, yes, good girl, every room of your house. And you need to be, once you're really good at uh, you've gotten really good at this with your dog in every room over your house, then you can start taking it outside, maybe in your backyard, and then maybe to the park. So this is one activity, yes, good girl, that I want you guys to be doing to get, get your dog used to checking in with you, getting your dog used to looking in with you. Another thing I want you to do is to make this really, really fun for your dog. So get happy, get a lot of energy going, and let your dog know that this is something really fun to be doing two things are gonna happen. One, your dog is gonna be more interested in you because you're being fun. And two, training is gonna turn into a fun activity for you as well. Another thing that I, I want you to be doing, and this is going to help a lot with walking on lead, but we're still getting our dog to check in with us, is to practice in the house, your dog looking up and checking in with you while you're walking at, while, while your dog is walking at your side. Again, this is something I want you to practice. Yes, good girl. Yeah, this is how we're talking about shaping behaviors. Yes, good girl. This is something that is going to help tremendously with walks. And again, I want you to practice a little bit more. Yes, good job, good job. So this is something that I want you to practice in your house. This is something I want you to practice in every room of your house. This is something that I want you to practice 
in your backyard, in your front yard, when you go to the park, take a long line with you when you go to the park and practice all of these different things so that your dog isn't off lead because you may not be comfortable with them being off lead yet and that's totally understandable. So, let me, okay, last piece, you ready? Go get it, good girl. So the number one thing that you need to be doing to get your dog to listen to you, to get your dog to pay attention to you, is to shape their behavior and be more interesting to them and really want them to listen and pay attention to you. This is the num number one thing that I teach people that I, when I go into people's homes and I train with them and their dog, this is the, the number one thing that I teach them after my seven canine commandments, which if you're not familiar with my seven canine commandments, you really should be. I don't know why you're not. Go ahead in the, in the description, check it out. There's a link to seven miracle steps is what it's called. And that book is going to be a game changer for you and your dog. Go ahead and grab your copy. But in it, I discuss my seven canine commandments. After that, this is the first thing that I train with everybody because it is so incredibly important for your dog to want to listen to you, to want to look to you for cues and to have fun because training should be fun. So I promised you that story that I told you, if you're feeling a little bit hopeless with your dog right now, let me tell you, it really tore my heart out a little bit when we adopted Kim. I really had never experienced this with a dog before. When we adopted her, she had next to no interest in me whatsoever. She didn't really want to be around me. She definitely preferred men. She wanted to be around my husband a lot. And I was sad. And I really, at the time, was just not sure what I was going to do. I was not sure that she, she wasn't the dog that I thought she was when we adopted her. And I was just almost heartbroken. But it didn't take me long to figure out who Kim was and how amazing she is. And now, She's my best buddy. She loves me so much. She still loves my husband a lot. Don't get me wrong, but she is incredibly fair and even about splitting time and cuddles between each one of us. And really all I did was I spent more time with her. I learned her. I didn't expect her to learn me. I learned her. And in doing that, she did learn me. So this is another uh, really great opportunity. Practice with all of the tips that I just showed you in this video with your dog and your dog. If you are feeling hopeless, believe me, I've been there. I completely understand it. If you're feeling like your dog is just never going to listen to you, or maybe you're not bonding with your dog and you're really getting frustrated and wondering if you made the right decision, or maybe you're just really frustrated because you think your dog is really thick headed and just does not want to listen to you give these tips and tricks a try. I promise you within a few days, you are going to see such a big change in the bond between you and your dog. And your dog is actually going to start to want to listen to you. You heard that right. Your dog is going to want to listen to you. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and end this video real quick though, before we go, I do want to ask, you to post in the comments below and let me know where you are with your dog why you clicked on this video are you feeling helpless are you feeling like you are just never going to get anywhere are you feeling like you and your dog have not bonded or maybe just that your dog refuses to listen and you don't know what else to do post in the comments below i would love to hear from you about what you're going through right now and once you try these tips and tricks out give it a few to give it a week and let me know how things have changed. I really wanna hear from you. So do post in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Once you do, a bell will pop up. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. And hey, if there's somebody in your life who really needs to hear this message too, maybe you know somebody who is really struggling with their dog, share this video with them. Hey, there's another really great video that's about to pop up right here. Go ahead, click on it and watch it, and it's going to help you build a great relationship with your dog. Thank you so much for being here and for watching, and I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.